necessary piece of, of the process, but it really isn't sufficient. You need to have both things together. And so it's, it's a first very good step uh, in that direction, but it won't uh, be performing uh, effectively, uh, especially, I mean, like the difference, I think, between state budgeting and federal budgeting is that in theory, the state governments are not allowed to run deficits. So they are put in a situation where they have to do something. I will grant you that a lot of the things that they do is use gimmick to actually make it look as if their budget is balanced. And in that sense, I actually think that their uh, budget based, um, uh, performance based ba budgeting can help. But the federal government doesn't have this. Um, doesn't have this obligation, and as you've used, I mean, you've used the term like putting it on the credit card. Uh, you're you're absolutely correct. Um, and as uh, Ms. Um, Chairwoman uh, noticed, I mean, while there's been for about 17, 20 years a lot of talk about transparency, a lot of talks about looking at performances of programs, yet we've managed to go from a situation of surplus to a situation of deficit, uh, and gigantic deficit. So I, I think. I mean, in order for any bill to have, s to be like, to, to include the full process, it needs to have the transparency aspect, but also the accountability that goes with it. And it's key. Thank you. Are out of time. Uh, let me just say this. Uh, I feel that uh, your bill will help us in terms of what works in terms of programs. Uh, when you get executive orders, you know, we went into a war and spent $15 billion a month. <laughs> That's going to affect the bottom line. Uh, the appropriators had nothing to do with that. And I'm hearing the witnesses say, you know, we, this ought to be an issue that the appropriators uh, listen to. So we've got to unscramble some rotten eggs. And I, I do thank you for the point you're raising because we're going to have to look at each sector of government. And you know, we're the federal government, what happens in the states, and then what happens in local government. And so uh, this whole apparatus needs looking at, but you give us a way to uh, start looking to see what does work. And I hope we can build on what you're putting out there. And we certainly are going to have a series of these hearings so that we can look at new directions for operating a country like ours. And you know, we're, we're not isolated, <laughs> you know. We are impacted with what's happening uh, with the rest of the world. You know, China with 1.3 billion people is looming to become a nation uh, in just a, a matter of a decade or so that's going to be handling uh, the finances for the entire globe, it appears. So we have many different issues to look at with this. And I do thank you for coming and for sharing with us. We'll call you back again. And with that, we're going to adjourn this committee meeting. Thank you so much. <laughs>